Welcome back to, I, I, I don't know what you call this, the Disney sequel series. I think after Mulan 2, I would stop doing this, but for some reason, I'm here doing The Little Mermaid 2, and I, I, I don't know why. Ah, that's it, I do know why, because The Little Mermaid live action trailer just came out this morning, and I saw Sebastian. She got legs! You idiot! And I didn't know whether to laugh or cry. <laughs> Idiot. So I've just realised the Little Mermaid sequel is called Return to the Sea. So why are we looking at Prince Eric in a wig? And if it's not Prince Eric, is it their daughter? They are squeezing the living death out of this franchise. Not only is there a live adaptation coming out this year, also I'm now seeing Moana as Ariel and there's a whole backstory to her. You know what, Umbrellas? I'm actually going to watch a bit of this first before we get into the sequel. Somewhere in the chaos. Oh, is this how Ariel's mum dies? Was lost to us. <laughs> No! That's actually really sad. It wouldn't be a Disney movie without a parent dying. Couldn't bear to hear it. <laughs> and music was banned from Atlantica. So the wife died and King Triton decides to ban music. So I'm guessing the plot for this prequel is to find a way to unban music from Atlantica. Let me guess, Ariel loves music, gets her dad, King Trident, to love music again, and now all Atlantica can enjoy music again. Well, that was just for fun umbrellas. I don't know if I'm wrong or right, but let's just get into the sequel now. Although I am regretting not doing the prequel because at least there's a death. Song I'm singing, you're my beautiful melody. So she really did live life off the sea. I'm just wondering, do you think when she got rid of her tail, she knew exactly what parts where? I'm, I'm, I'm just asking. I, I, how much will I bet that's the rock she sang at? We go down to a world I know that before a child born of sea and shore. So is she like half fish, half human? Technically that is a mermaid. <laughs> so where is she then? <laughs> I feel so bad for him. He's got done so dirty in the live adaptation. She just froze her in the ocean. <laughs> and That's pretty. Ursula? Who the fuck are you? Ursula from Wish? Ursula would have simply loved to have come, but something came up. So she's still alive? You're saying there's a chance she's still alive? If I see my thick woman in this movie, this is already the best sequel ever. Quay, little Mary Strip, I'm coming through! Why is no one doing anything? <laughs> you can have anything you want, just don't harm little Melody. You have a trident. Zippity zap zap her, what are you doing? <laughs> Was it just there for show? Get the deck! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> yeah, it took you long enough. <laughs> this wreck could have been done a long time ago if you did that. Sweetie, no. Oh, we've got to keep Melody away from her. Until Morgana is found, Melody can't go in the sea. So let me get this straight. In The Little Mermaid, you've got Ariel who hates her dad because she's overprotective. And now she's doing the exact same thing to Melody. So it's just a carbon copy, but with a twist. Instead of Ariel cannot go in the land, now Melody can't go into the sea. Melody can't know about merpeople or Atlantica or even you, daddy. Huh? <laughs> We're going full Sleeping Beauty Frozen, aren't we? To keep Ora away from the spinning wheel, she gets sent away for her whole life. Instead of telling Anna that Elsa has magic, let's just keep them separate their whole lives, even though they're sisters. This does not end well. <laughs> Sebastian, you will watch over her. Me? How can he? Is she not even allowed to talk to a fucking crab? Lobster? What even is he? <laughs> This guy just loves throwing things in the sea. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> no way! Louis, Melody's not in here, is she? No, your highness. Oh, this guy again. Oh, I love this guy. He's so funny. <laughs> Melody! 
Wait, I thought she wasn't allowed in the sea. Is she just being a pure rebel and disobeying the rules? Forbidden for you, for you to, to be swimming beyond the safety of the sea wall is a reckless disregard of the rules, don't you know? Ha ha ha! I like her, she's sassy. Oh, is it the charm? I mean, I don't know how she spotted that. Her vision's so much better than me. <laughs> the power of the trident is just too strong for me to overcome. That Ursula could have done it. What was that? Basically, she's trying to follow in Ursula's footsteps, just like Zira did with Scar. <laughs> but I can already tell you now, even she's got nothing on Zira. <laughs> At least Zira was somewhat intimidating. She's just cringe, man. Ariel's daughter uncovers the secret of that locket. She's going to have lots of questions. So Melody doesn't know she's part mermaid, yet she can talk to fish. How is she not already asked questions? <laughs> Perfect tool for Triton's undoing. And I'll get to be big. No! <laughs> They've basically knocked off the first movie <laughs> in reverse. So Urza's sister's plan is to make a deal with Melody that if she gets the trident, she can be a mermaid. Just like the plot in the first movie did, except it's reversed. <laughs> so as it stands, subject to change, Disney are knocking off their own movie. <laughs> Sebastian, what's my mom got against the ocean anyway? She really hasn't told you. <laughs> did Ariel really just butcher her whole character development? <laughs> I miss you, Daddy. I wish you could be here with us. I mean, you could. If you were being such a shit parent. <laughs> Live your life, don't be scared. It's not like your father has the old ocean under his command. I'm ready. <laughs> Let me help. Can we just talk about Ariel's skincare? How long has passed since the first movie? Even the first scene of this movie? She doesn't look a day over 20. They could be sisters. What is her skincare routine? Everyone has trouble fitting in at your age. Why well, did? I was a regular fish out of water. You? No way. She really hasn't told her her life. No wonder she doesn't talk to her own mother. She doesn't even know her. You know, you can always tell me anything. What I dream about more than anything in the whole world. How's it coming? Fuck off, Eric! Of course! <laughs> no, we'll talk later. The events coming don't even need to happen in this movie. All she has to do is talk to her, and that's it. She doesn't want to be a mermaid. <laughs> if you actually tell her who you are, maybe she'll actually find some resolve in her life and who she really is. Hi, would you like to dance? Oh, are you just a blonde Prince Eric? Oh, are Say. you okay, Sebastian? Who is she talking to? <laughs> talking to a crab. You! <laughs> <laughs> I love that shift so much, man. <laughs> you know the chef has never let the first incident go between them. <laughs> Your daughter's literally getting bullied because you don't tell her. And how do they not know she can talk to fish? Will they not at her coronation? Do they not know Atlantic still exists? How is this a kept secret? Oh, sweetheart. I'm so sorry. No, you're not. If you're sorry, you'll finally tell her. Please! That song. Mother, you always said it was just an old fish tail. Oh, finally. You deliberately disobeyed me. I never want you going out there again. Do you hear me? It's dangerous in the sea. How would you know? You've never even been in it. She's the worst. This could have all been avoided if only you explained to her, oh yeah, you nearly died by Ursula's sister when you were younger. That's why we're protecting you. But no, you're just giving her no reason at all. What the fuck? When I was a teenager, I had this high squeaky voice. One day, boom, these whoppers pop out. <laughs> Did he just explain how when you grow older, your penis can get bigger? <laughs> Melody. Well, what are you doing? Oh, my there? fault. I tried to stop her. You didn't know Sebastian? So when she was talking to a crab, you just thought it was any other crab. Not that it could be Sebastian, a crab you used to talk to. <laughs> Morgana's the best. She'll help you. You can turn me into a mermaid? Taste a fish cake, honey. <laughs> Ursula's magic. Where'd you get that? I've been saving it. Wow. She's actually using Ursula's magic. How B-Tech of a villain is she? She can't even produce her own. <laughs> we have search parties scouring the ocean. Ariel, maybe... You should go with him. Oh, is she finally going to return to the sea? Is this where the title comes in? <laughs> I 
I'm just laughing at how many times this whole movie could have been avoided. <laughs> that should be the title of this movie. The Little Mermaid. Just because. <laughs> For a moment, life is cool. Melody deserves the world. I actually hope she just disowns her mom and dad. More than my thoughts ever thought it could be. Oh! Oh! That's like the scene in the first movie! There wasn't enough potion for this to be a forever spell. Please, I don't want to go back. Oh, that's smart. The only way she can stay in memory forever if she does her bidding. It was stolen years ago. There's no one to get it back for me. Maybe I could get it back for you. <gasps> and she doesn't know that's her grandfather. So in her mind, King Triton's the villain. This is all Ariel's fault. <laughs> this whole movie's her fault. I can't believe how much they've destroyed her. It really exists. Ever told you otherwise. Well, I'm sure she didn't mean to be cruel and deceitful. I mean, all I hear are facts. We're finally gonna be heroes for real. Yeah, they're not gonna laugh at us anymore. What is this subplot? You two boys almost got us all killed! Heroes? More like zeros. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's just so mean. <laughs> you can't fly! Hey guys, do either of you know how to get to Atlantica? I don't have much time. Is it just me that's getting like Timon Pumba vibes from there too? All for three and three for one Atlantica! Here we come! They're great. They're actually adding dimension to the story. It actually makes me interested to see how their character goes. Flounder? <laughs> Ariel! I'm sure not a guppy anymore. <laughs> you could say that again. Ah, oh, he's old now. I mean, I know that's how life works, but still. <laughs> I don't think I've seen you around here. Meet Melmo! Hi! Hey, you want to hang out with us? Are they the complete contrast to the three people in the human world? She's gonna love the sea world so much better because they're actually nice. He doesn't look like a thief. They never do. King <laughs> Triton! <laughs> I'm sure she'll turn up soon. He's coming back! That is just far too easy. How did she just take that so easily? <laughs> Honestly, I don't even know why I'm surprised anymore. It's just because, isn't it? Nobody can remove the Triton from the stand except you, sire. You are one of your descendants. So only him or his relatives can pick up the Trident. But how can Morgana get her hands on the Trident? She can't hold it, right? Only relatives can hold it? <laughs> You mean you call those two yellow belly sea slugs your friends? Yeah. Have you seen the humans in the castle? Fuck that. Hand over the. Melody, don't! Mom. Don't listen to her! You're a mermaid? <laughs> Is that the first thing you say to each other? <laughs> All this time. You never told me. I love how they just have time to talk, whereas the villain's just right next to them. <laughs> See, at this point, I'll just give it to her. Daughter. Please. Give it to me, Melody. Ah, oh, give it to Ursula's sister. I would have trust issues at this point. You ain't my mom. But then again, I don't like B Tech Ursula. See this point, see if I'm Melody, I think I will just only try it for myself. <laughs> Wait, it's actually working. I thought only descendants could touch it. Sorry, yeah, sorry, the plot ju just because. Your time as a mermaid is just about expired. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Oh, nice! Killing her by suffocation. That is amazing. Although you're still giving her time to escape. I hate when they do that. <laughs> Hail, Queen Hailing, They just, they did not just use that sound effect. He just used the Stormtrooper sound effect. <laughs> Release my daughter, surrender my granddaughter, and I shall spare you. Or what? Or what? You do nothing. You have nothing. You have no trident. Not like you used the trident anyway. I should, I should be happy. I should be happy Ursula isn't in this movie. She does not deserve to be in this movie. <laughs> Oh my god, do the two sidekicks come to the rescue? Oh, I'm all here for this, by the way. It's been nice knowing you. <laughs> <laughs> no way! He just sacrificed it! This is my guy. Melody! Uh-oh. 
I mean, that must be cold. I feel like she would be dead at this point, no? I have the trident now. All the creatures of the sea are in my power! Yeah, so please do something. I'm, I'm begging for anything. Someone to literally do anything, please. Yes, yes, more, more. Why the penguin? Fuck off. So all you're doing is making them obey. I feel like if you have a trident that can turn people into fish or humans, there's something much cooler you could do here. I swear to God, if she just grabs this, I'm going to be so pissed off. Oblivion! That's a mean. I love this movie. <laughs> Think this belongs to you. I escape for you. See, that's what you should have done the first time. <laughs> you could have done that in the start of the movie. She could have done that now. So many things were avoidable. We're sorry. We should have told you the truth. Oh, grandfather. Shouldn't you introduce yourself? <laughs> it's your first time seeing her, basically. <laughs> Just remove the wall. That's all you had to do. That's how to make everyone happy. <laughs> Here's where I'll give the movie credit. The introduction of surprise side characters, they were great. Also, it's telling you to be yourself because if you're not yourself, you might cause conflict even between your family and you might end up like this. Shit. Yeah, I've got nothing else. Everyone else was so annoying in this movie. Even Ariel. This sequel is basically the first one. Instead of Ariel wanting to go on land, Ariel's daughter wants to go in the sea. Just because. You idiot!